in a previous video we installed Reason 7 on Windows 8 Pro 64-bit and when you install Reason on a 64-bit OS it will automatically install as a 64-bit program. However, because Pro Tools is a 32-bit application, I'm on Pro Tools 9 so it's only 32-bit. Pro Tools 10 is 32-bit as well. Now the coming Pro Tools 11 will be 64-bit, but we're not quite sure when that will be released. So when it is, I, I can probably uninstall this 32-bit uh, version. But being as right now, Pro Tools is 32-bit, if I want to use Reason and Rewire with Pro Tools 9, which is, again, 32-bit, I'll need to install Reason as a 32-bit application on my Windows 8 Pro 64-bit OS. So in order to do that, I'll choose the Install Reason EXE file. Now you can do this from the DVD or from the downloaded version, which is what I have, the downloaded version. So I'll right-click on the Install Reason application. I want to choose Create Shortcut. So here's the shortcut. You can place this on the desktop if you want. This is what I want right here, though, the shortcut. I'll actually move this here to the desktop. So then I'll right click the shortcut that I just created, go down to properties, look up here to the target field right here, and now I want to enter a slash 32. So I need to hit space, a slash there, I guess that's a forward slash I guess, and then 32. Apply and OK. And I'll double click this, and we'll install the 32-bit version. As you can see, welcome to Reason 32 for 32-bit. Hit next. And as you can see, it's 32-bit application because, again, I'm on a 64-bit OS. This is going into the program files x86 folder, which is where your 32-bit applications will be placed. We'll hit Next, Desktop icon. I actually don't need one for the 32-bit version. Next, and hit Install. Now, we could have the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version installed at the same time without any problem. Again, the only reason I'm doing this is so I can use Reason in Rewire with Pro Tools, which again currently is just 32-bit. Once Pro Tools 11 comes out, it will be full 64-bit, and I probably won't need the 32-bit version anymore. So now we'll let this install, and I'll catch you on the other side. And there we go. Now Reason 7 32-bit is installed on my Windows 8 64-bit OS. You can see here we're in the uh, local disk, Program Files x86. Right there is where you would launch Reason 32-bit. Since I didn't create a desktop icon, the desktop icon we have here is for the 64-bit version. If, if I would have created a 32-bit shortcut, it would look like this. It would look just like that. I'm not going to name it that because that will change my uh, shortcut. And I've actually already got Pro Tools open here, so we'll pop up Pro Tools. I have Rewire running. You can see I have Reason right here on my instrument track. So there's Reason. If I click a pad, in Reason, it's going through Rewire, and into Pro Tools, as you can see. So there you go, that's how you would install Reason 7 32-bit on your Windows 64-bit operating system.